the mouth. Hello beautiful people, it's Cece and today we're going to do like a full Fenty face. Some products aren't going to be Fenty of course, but for the most part full Fenty. So you should start off with clean skin and right after that just apply moisturizer so your skin won't be dry underneath. Okay, so this is Rihanna's Instant Retouch Primer. I'm just using like two pumps to spread all over my face. I was like, whoa, <laughs> the primer felt really, really smooth like a lotion. Like, um, it's supposed to be mattifying, so like you just have to wait until it dries down a little bit to see that effect. So on my skin, when I'm blending, you can see like a little bit of white or silver. That's the Invisi Pink formula for the blurring effect. It's safe for all skin tones, the color, everything about this primer just melts right into your skin. When the primer dries, it feels a little bit tacky to the touch, but overall it feels really lightweight. This is a soft matte longwear foundation. I am in color 400. I'm gonna use about two pumps to put to start with to put on my face. I'm using the foundation brush. It's really, really dense. I really love the way that the foundation and this brush work together for an airbrush finish. So this is supposed to be a shine-free, oil-free formula, and it's supposed to be humidity and sweat resistant. Okay, so the consistency is liquidy, so blend fast. Um, you don't want that foundation to dry up on this you. This foundation so is so perfect on me. It's so warm. I definitely don't feel like I'm hiding my skin underneath this foundation at all. It feels very light, like, wow. I was so impressed with this foundation. I didn't even have to color correct and my entire face is matching my chest and my neck and all that. This foundation definitely gives a go. Like you can go out to the club and have your makeup not sweat off or maybe go to an early audition and just look perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Like, wow. This foundation is like me in a bottle. Like seriously, my skin tone in a bottle. Like that's, that's so beautiful to finally find. This is a beautiful color for me. Time and place to come through. Okay, now let's talk about the matchsticks, the magnetic matchsticks. Oh my gosh. I'm in color suede and I've used this before. Um, it's like the perfect match for me as well. It's like one to two shades lighter than my natural skin tone. And this the matchstick, it feels like a dry when you put it on. So you can either blend with your finger or I love to blend it with my foundation brush, with the Fenty foundation brush. I use that brush for everything. I put that brush on everything. Just kidding, just my skin. Now I'm contouring in a shade that's not my contour color, which is truffle. Um, it needs to be darker. It's like a little bit pink on me. Like this could be my skin tone if it wasn't like so cool or you know. Just just a little, like this, it's me in the summertime. It's not my contour color. I need to go for a darker shade, but at the time, like that's what, I forgot why I bought that, but oh, because my shade was, my Fenty foundation, the shade wasn't in 400, and she was like, oh, maybe you could just use truffle as your foundation for right now, and I was like, okay. But now that I have my regular foundation color, it really doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm gonna do something about that. But hey, it does show up like very, very light, very natural. It's still, it's still a go. This foundation really looks like a no makeup makeup look. You know what I mean? Um, I can tell because I have like a little mole on the side of my face and you can still see it. Like, that's how you know it's like maybe light to medium coverage. Like definitely not like a full mask. So now I'm stepping away from Fenty and using my contour brush and uh, color from MAC for my cheeks. Just 
So getting right back into Fenty with the highlighter in color rum. I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones, my nose, and all that. So this is a growing channel. If I were to do it again, I would place the highlight like just a little bit higher on my cheekbones because it like really, the glitter, it goes everywhere. I love the way that it looks on me. It comes up like, you know, just a little bit yellow, like definitely like a golden highlighter shade for me. I think my face looks like super natural, right? Yeah. Um, this is crazy. I'm trying to like finish my hair. I'm tired of it. So now I'm just using dip brow pomade for my eyebrows. Viana doesn't have anything for the eyebrows yet, but when she does, maybe I'll try it. But for now, I'm just underlining like my natural brow bone, going over top of it and filling them in. So right now I'm just quickly correcting my eyebrows with concealer. You can see how easy and quick it is. It's really not a big deal to correct if you like just put a little bit too much eyebrow product to just clean it up and give you a clean slate. So I'm just spraying my face with an oil control finishing spray and adding mascara. If you finally got your Fenty Foundation on the second time, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Stay tuned.